hey everybody what is happening what's going on welcome to another day another video uh, I'm currently maybe you can see it at a lake near Los Angeles near the Angel Forest and it's called Lake Huth and then over there there's Lake Elizabeth but the actual reason that I'm out here is because I'm managing a piece of land for uh, film locations for like bigger productions so I was just showing the production crew around and figured since I'm already out here drove all the way out here from LA let me just spend the day out here in nature and explore this beautiful little uh, community and actually the whole nature around it so I took my camera once again trying to make some pictures just kind of like see what's around whatever inspires me I'm gonna go forward and shoot it and then you're gonna see the results and I'm also gonna talk a little bit about my camera settings and about the kind of like tactics that I'm using and the overall approach towards photography so yeah let's explore this area together and hopefully make some cool pictures I actually just saw two hummingbirds I'm just waiting for them to like show up again but while I'm waiting, let me actually walk you through uh, or just give you a quick overview about the settings that I use for capturing fast moving objects, uh, especially birds, doing bird photography. So I do always, always shoot in continuous autofocus, um, AFC. So obviously, as you know, at the Fujifilm X-T3, it's kind of like here on the front is where you um, have the little dial. I actually don't mind a higher ISO. Um, I do put up the ISO usually at around like 1600 so that because that allows me to go up with my shutter speed and um, I feel like the noise cleans up very very easily plus the Fuji noise in my opinion it's not like that weird like color noise that's like super annoying and ugly and hard to get rid of I think if anything it almost looks a little organic and filmic so I actually don't mind the extra noise plus I'll clean up most of the noise um, that I don't like in post-production anyways and then my shutter speed is always at like at least two thousandths of a second for anything that's like in the air and moving. Um, obviously depending on what kind of shots you want to get and what kind of mood you want to portray, like let's say there's a bird in the rain sitting on a branch and you kind of like, you want the, um, the motion blur of the rain, so you set down your shutter speed to maybe like one one hundredth or even lower than that. And then also I either shoot in zone or in single point autofocus. That obviously really depends if the bird's flying. I like to just pick a zone and actually make the zone quite large. And usually the autofocus picks up within that zone on the bird. And then when I have a subject actually sitting on the branch, when I'm talking about birds or any other wildlife, subjects that are not like crazy fast moving, I usually like to do the single point autofocus and then always focus on the eye of the animal, right? The eye that you want to have in focus. Like don't focus, especially with birds, don't put the focus point like on the body or somewhere because especially with longer focal length you always run the risk of just having like the wings or whatever in focus and the the, the face the eye of the bird is out of focus so and yeah that's like a, just a super quick rundown of like the kind of settings that i'm using in a nutshell and also one more thing i wanted to mention usually i do like to go out and take pictures more during sunset where the sun is a little lower and um Today is one of those days where it's a little bit of an overcast, very gloomy, um, but it's in the middle of the day. I think it's like noon right now. I don't think that there's necessarily bad light. I think it's just different light. And actually each light in each situation can bring out a different mood and can make you creative in different ways, right? So like, let's say you have super harsh light in the middle of the day, what you might want to experiment with and start doing is kind of like trying to get silhouette shots or just working with the conditions that you have um, especially experimenting with different settings and kind of like trying to make every light situation work will make you such a better photographer and such a better filmmaker down the road because you're learning to deal with different challenges and actually gain creativity and expand your horizon on what's possible when taking pictures. So I really encourage you to go out at any time of the day because I, especially in the past, I tend to just always go out when I like the light, which is usually like anywhere from one hour before sunset until like blue hour, almost darkness was always my favorite um, but especially nowadays I do enjoy just going out any time of the day and just dealing with the new challenges and actually learning how to take nice pictures that I personally enjoy sharing during any conditions and yeah so another thing I forgot to mention is that I actually have the pre-AF enabled in my camera settings which then 
allows me or actually what the camera does it is auto focuses while I'm actually looking through the finder before pressing the shutter button halfway down in order to auto focus the camera is already going to be like almost halfway there in an ideal scenario which then allows you to get the subject in focus faster and uh, eventually get the shot you want hopefully <laughs> back back at the truck Look oh, cool. The first thing I see when coming to this new location near this uh, dried out riverbed is a hummingbird. Beautiful, beautiful little creature. Just amazing. <laughs> I love these animals so much. I actually have one tattooed on my leg. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I took a few pictures of it. Unfortunately, it's still sitting there. It doesn't seem like I want to take off or go anywhere. It's just sitting on that little branch and enjoying life so um but yeah i think i still got some like nice photos of it uh, i just whenever i see hummingbird i'm just like happy <laughs> so <laughs> it was nice okay guys so there's these absolutely beautiful looking birds that are sitting on the branches and of all these dead trees here and I actually already took a few pictures of them but whenever they take off I'm either not paying attention or I just switch the camera to video in order to record something for you but I think they just look amazing and I don't even know their name uh, since I actually just moved recently to the US there are so many species that I'm like unfamiliar with here are so much new things which is obviously for me extremely exciting um, so yeah, just trying to be as quiet as possible and not to move and I'm just gonna sit here because from here I actually have a very good overview of all the dead trees and I feel like those, from my observation so far, is like their preferred spot. So yeah, let's see if I can actually get one in flight because uh, that would be pretty nice. Sometimes it's also actually a really good idea if you feel like you've lost track of your subject to just sit down and just to listen, to observe nature after a while of just silence. Um, the birds, whatever animals would start giving you like signals almost on where to find them. So either you can hear them fly, you can hear them land somewhere or trying to gather little branches together to build their nests. You hear them sing, so especially when I'm waiting for like my subjects to either show up or to do the things that I want them to do, <laughs> like, uh, you know, flying off or something like that, because obviously just birds sitting on a branch at some point, it's just kind of, you know, not so exciting versus like actually seeing behavior or seeing it being uh, in motion. But yeah, sometimes it's just a game of patience and of really being one with nature and observing it you know raising your senses and having very sharp uh, senses on what to look for but it's certainly something you can train it's just a skill and the more you go out uh, the more you'll realize it and the more you'll practice it so but either way today it seems to be very slow but nonetheless beautiful out here <laughs> back at the riverbed uh, so I kind of like started at the river and I went off the trail just into the wild <laughs> and now I'm back here uh, I'm really debating with myself how long I should stay here and kind of like check out this area or if I should just like jump back in the car and move um, I don't know something tells me I should stay here just for another half an hour or something so yeah, let me go with that gut feeling <laughs> and let's hope it pays off. Ooh, all right, <laughs> back in the car. Uh, 
kind of like give up on the birds, choose your battles, <laughs> even in photography. But that doesn't mean that I'm giving up for the day. There is still plenty of light out there. And um, when I was in this cute little town where we started the video, I actually got invited by some of the locals to like a little saloon event where people are gonna play country music, live music. And they were so kind and so nice. So I figured, of course I'm gonna go. So I'm actually gonna spend the whole day here <laughs> and then party with the locals at night and then hopefully with a bunch of good memories and good photos drive back to LA. So just, just go and keep on driving, see if I find anything else, any other nice spots, um, little lakes. I'm just gonna check on Google Maps. The only thing is like I have zero reception here. Um, but yeah, let's just enjoy the day and take more pictures. <laughs> Alright y'all, next beautiful spot on my little day trip here out to Elizabeth Lake. And guess what? This is Elizabeth Lake. <laughs> so lots of uh, Native American history here. There were three tribes and this uh, in this area and this lake was kind of like the dividing point between their territories. And actually Native American history is something I am super super interested in and it's absolutely fascinating to me there's so much amazing knowledge to be learned and to be rediscovered and so it's something i'm just fascinated by once again so elizabeth lake beautiful let's take some pictures Uh, I hope that you found this video, if not useful, um, at least entertaining. <laughs> and uh, thank you so much for watching this video until the end. And yeah, once again, I hope you got, you were able to take something away uh, for you with it from this video. Like any video I do, I'm trying to give you guys some of my experiences, uh, some value. And just in the end of the day, hope that it inspires you to go out, take more pictures and sparks your creativity and uh, what else yeah spend more time in nature until the next video wishing you nothing but the best and bye bye <laughs>